Welcome to the month of September. This is the ninth month. We are so happy that God has brought us all this far. Don't forget that on the 18th of March, almost the entire nation was shut down. Some of us didn't know that we will be arrived alive in this month of September. We need to thank God for his divine protection upon our lives. We may not be having enough to eat, to drink, to spend but life is better than anything. We are so happy for God's mass and grace. Citizens of Uganda and the people across the nation you need to thank God today is September 1st but God has still kept us alive you go to the hospital my mother died on oxygen at the age of 85 in a very wonderful hospital he was surrounded by doctors all her side all has a professional doctor. There are about four or five doctors around her. He was in a VIP wing. Very important persons, people where they go. On that day, I became thankful to the Lord. More thankful than ever before. Then I know how oxygen expensive was. I am 57 years of age. The Lord has given me oxygen for 57 years. I'm saying all these things because God has given us a new day, a new month. We have entered September breathing and alive. My mother was in intensive care for six days. Then I became to know how expensive oxygen is. Every hour you spend on oxygen is 700,000 shillings. Every hour you spend on oxygen is 700,000 shillings. I want you to multiply 700,000 per hour and make how much money you spend in a day. That is almost 8.4 million. And then calculate in a month. 30 days and then calculate for a year and then calculate 57 years of Pastor Aaron Mutebe you will see how much money I am supposed to spend for only oxygen the Lord is giving to me free of charge so every time a month begins we must be appreciative of the old month and the new day the Lord brings to us I've already sent you a message for the month of September please check on every platform it is already there you shall see a young chick with a snake and a young chick with a snake and then you shall read the message there that is my message for September for all of my friends who are watching and listening and following us but September is the ninth month the number nine in the Bible is mentioned 50 times in the Bible 
Bible. And the first time it is mentioned is in Genesis chapter 5 and verse number 5. And then we go all the through the Old Testament. And we come to the New Testament. And the last time the number 9 is mentioned is in Luke chapter 17 and verse 17. And I think let us read it here. The one, the first one is Genesis 5 5. And the last one is 17 17. So number 9 is mentioned 50 times in the Bible. Number 9. And the last time it is mentioned is Luke 17 verse 17. And here it reads. Jesus answering and said. Were there known ten cleansed? But where are the nine? That is the last time the word nine is mentioned in the Bible. And the reason why Jesus is asking this word Where are there known ten cleans? Where are the nine? Child of God We have entered the ninth month And on the first day The Lord is asking you Where are they are known ten them that were cleansed. Where are the nine? The one had come to appreciate God for the miracle of healing, for the miracle of being cleansed. But when Jesus noticed how many people had already healed, he saw they were ten. So he's perplexed about their whereabouts of the remaining nine. Child of God, this is the question the Lord is asking you in the month of September. He has given life to all of us. He has protected all of us. Coronavirus has not attacked many of us. Many people have committed suicide ever since the lockdown was there. Many people have burnt themselves to ashes. Many people have been murdered and killed and slaughtered by their own parents. Many people have died of different sicknesses and diseases. Many people could not cope up with the poverty and the hunger in the city. And some of them have decided to go to the village. Water has flooded many lakeshore areas and people have nowhere to go. And some have left to go to sleep with loved ones. Others have gone back to stay with their parents in the rural villages. Here comes the month of September. You still have your job. You are still employed. You still receive a salary. It might be half. It might be quarter. It might be just a little part of it. But you are still being paid. Some of your friends have already left to the village. Many marriages have been broken. Many husbands have run away from parents, from their wives. So the Lord is asking if you are not among those who went to the village, you are not among those who lost their jobs, you are not among those whose families have been broken apart. Why don't you come and thank? God. Why don't you take the month of September as a month of thanksgiving? The last 
number nine mentioned in the Bible. In Luke 17 verse 17. The Lord Jesus Christ is asking. Yes, Abuza. Among the many people who have helped in this coronavirus pandemic. Whose jobs have kept safe. Whose salaries have kept intact. Whose lives have saved already. Whose family are still together. Why don't they come and thank me? Says Jesus. Why don't they come and say thank you Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my children. How many children have been raped in coronavirus pandemic shutdown? How many children have lost their virginity in the coronavirus shutdown? How many children have been molested by their own relatives. How many children have been abducted in the coronavirus shutdown? How many children have been defiled by their own relatives? If you are not among those families who have experienced such, Jesus is saying, Where are you to come and thank me? Where are you to come and thank me? Where are the nine? Remember, I'm talking about the ninth month. I'm talking about September. September. September has been declared by Pastor Aaron Motebi as a month of coming to thank the Lord. Get a thanksgiving offering. Come and thank God. Get a sacrifice. Come and thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your marriage. Thank God for your job. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for your ministry. Thank God for the nation of Uganda. Since January, coronavirus has killed only 30 people. Coronavirus since January. Thank God. I declare and decree the ninth month as a month of coming to thank Jesus for what he has done for us in Jesus' name. If you believe, shout, hey, I receive it. Hey, I receive it. Hey, I receive it. Hey, I receive it. Hey, I'm coming to thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm coming to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are right in the month of September. Which is the ninth month. And I told you the one number nine is mentioned 50 times in the Bible. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 5 is the first one and the last one is Luke 17 verse 17 but this number 9 is also very symbolic in the Bible do you see in Genesis it is 5 5 
Eriko tano, tano. Now you look the number five in comparison to number nine. Then in Luke, the last the last number is also 1717. Five five tano, tano, 1717. So you can see the speciality and the symbolicism of the number nine. So we are going through this month. And we are going going to be talking about the symbolism of number nine. Before I wind up for today, because I'm just introducing you to the month of September and number nine. The number nine, I've said have got a symbolic meaning in the Bible. And number nine is considered very important. In the Bible, Bible, it represents the fruits of the Holy Spirit. When you read the book of uh, Galatians chapter number 5 and verse number 22, this is what the Bible reads. Galatians 5 and verse 22. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is one love. Two joy. Three peace. Four long suffering. Five gentleness. Six goodness. Seven faith. Eighth meekness. And nine temperance. No. Temper. Temperance. Temper. Oh. You have a you, you, you have a, low, a a bad temper, a good temper, temperance. So there are nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. We shall be talking about those ones. We are in the ninth month. So we need to compose a song which involves these nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, which are uh, love, joy, Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. So we are talking about number nine in the ninth month. And I pray that God will help you to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We said earlier that the Lord is calling us to thank Him. Every one of you listening to this message on UBC TV. You are listening to this message on WhatsApp, WhatsApp on Facebook, Facebook on YouTube, YouTube, on Instagram, Instagram on Twitter, Twitter, wherever you are listening, on radio, radio, on any television station, wherever you are listening, I declare the ninth month as a month of thanksgiving. We need to thank God. Pre Bear your thanksgiving offering. Thank God for what he has done for you. But also number two. Number nine represents the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray in this month. That God will help us to grow the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That God will help us to grow the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Which is love and joy and peace and long suffering and gentleness and goodness and faith and meekness and temperance. Those are nine. The significance of nine. And finally for today, also the number nine in the Bible represents the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Can you differentiate of what I said earlier? Can you differentiate what I said earlier? What did I say in Galatians? What did I say in Galatians? The nine what? You get a microphone. Fruits. In Galatians, there are nine fruits. We are talking about number nine. Galatians are nine 
fruits. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we are talking about the nine gifts. Let's begin from verse number 4. Now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Verse 7. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Now here are the nine. The verse number eight. For one is given the spirit of word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge. Uh -huh. By the same spirit. To another faith. By the same spirit. To another the gifts of healing. By the same spirit. To another verse number 10. The working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning of spirit. To another diver tongues, diver kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues. Do you see the importance and the symbolism of the number nine? Jesus is demanding us to thank him and then Era. they are fruits of the Holy Spirit which we must bear in the month of September and then the gifts of the Holy Spirit I am going to pray with you in this month and I'm going to preach to you in this month so that we bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit so that we take advantage of this month to come with our thanksgiving offerings to bless the Lord and that also we get the gifts of the Holy Spirit which are the word of wisdom the word of knowledge the gift of faith the gifts of healing the working of miracles the gift of prophecy the discernment of spirits the diver cards of tongues and the interpret of tongues September the ninth month is a special month. And we believe to come back to the house of the Lord which we are shut on 18th March back in God's house to worship him in the ninth month. Just be ready. Father in the name of Jesus I present to you this month I present this month before you Father bless your people put it in the hearts of your people to come and thank you because the last part 9 is mentioned in the Bible Luke 17 and verse 17 Jesus was talking about people who don't want to thank him. Father you have protected our lives. You have kept our marriages. You have healed our children. You have sustained us. You have given us oxygen which is 700,000 shillings per hour in a hospital. We thank you for the gift of life. Here we come Come in the ninth month symbolizing the number nine. We are going to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which are nine. We are going to get the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which are nine. We are coming to thank 
you in this month which is the ninth month thank you Lord and we are coming with our financial thanksgiving to you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Amen and everybody listening to me on every platform I want you to start right away send your thanksgiving now the numbers are 0708 086 0786 Everybody listening to this message. Wherever you are listening to it, on television, on, TV, on social media networks, please send a thanksgiving offering to thank God. Let us show God that we are appreciative of what He has done to us. Many people have lost their lives. Lost their jobs. Let us thank God. Use those telephone numbers today to thank the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you all. We love you. We believe in you. You are so wonderful. The Lord will continue to keep you safe. But show him that in this ninth month you have appreciated by your thanksgiving offering in Jesus' name. If you want to give your life to Jesus, this is the moment. Pray this prayer after me for salvation. Gamba ayi mukama. Ayi mukama. Oluwalero. Oluwalero. Nzikiriza. Nzikiriza. No mutima gwa. No mutima gwange. Okuwebo obutukire. Okuwebo obutukire. Eranja tula. Eranja tula. Na kamwa kange. Na kamwa kange. Okulokoka. Okulokoka. Sangule erinyalya. Sangule erinyalya. Mukitabo chaba. Mukitabo chaba. Biwandike. Biwandike. Mukitabo chaba. Mukitabo chaba. Nja tula lero. Tindoko se. Tindoko se. Molinyalya Yesu. Molinyalya Yesu. Amen. Amen. We bale okulokoka. Thank you for giving your that's the way they get born again. And I promise you this month, you shall enter into the house of our Lord. You will enter into the house of the Lord. When the churches are open, go to the church in your village, in your city. Tell them I'm born again during the coronavirus. If you stay in around in Tibetan, we have prepared a place. We have prepared for your place. Social distancing. Uh, social distancing. We shall sit like our honorable. If you don't have food, we are prepared to give you food. You will not die of anger. We shall be providing food for you in social distancing. Every Sunday. Those who don't have food, we shall source food in you. And we may thank the Lord for this month. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you. We believe in you. We are praying for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.